Looking at service through the lens of a customer has been a bit lost for me. It's the, it's the difference between customer satisfaction and customer advocacy. And, and where we seek customer advocacy is when we take the time to look through the lens of our clients and understand the service that they require and design something that's really specific to them. I think they want an organisation that listens intently and carefully and rather than telling them you know, how it's going to be done, at Anabas we listen to what's required and, and create something that meets those needs which is a very simple approach and our scale allows us to do that with customers in a very bespoke uh, way. The first thing we're really clear on is that we only bid for work that's on strategy for us. We're very focused, so if it's a corporate office occupier that values the service experience, either because they want to attract talent into that space and, and value that talent, or they've got clients coming into that space, then you know, they'll be for us. You know, there's lots of other markets out there that, uh, that we just don't focus on and we're very clear and we, you know, we stick to our strategy on the basis that if you want to be great at something, you've got to stick to it and really focus on it and we stick to that fastidiously. We'll sit with our client and we'll talk about the service fitting around the needs of the occupants of that space. So rather than service for service sake, is, is it right, is it what the business needs? You know, it's really about understanding the, the service requirements and their impacts uh, on an individual in a corporate office rather than delivering something that's uh, generic and against the specification that may or may not be right for that, uh, for that customer. For us, small decencies are those little things that make a difference in terms of a great customer experience. And those small decencies can be for occupants of the space or for our employees that drive engagement within the organisation. You know, the Back to the Floor programme is a good example of a small decency. And, you know, if you join Anabas as a manager, you know, part of your objectives are to do two Back to the Floor days every year. You know, when I joined myself and one of the account directors worked for two days as cleaners on one of our contracts and you know it was a, a hugely valuable experience and for me if you're you know if you're aspiring for satisfaction with a customer that's one thing but we absolutely aspire to deliver customer advocacy and uh, <clears throat> to get that you've just got to go that little bit further with customers and with your employees. We've got a strategy in Anabas where we tend to bring in people who have had bigger roles in the past and uh, you know that's an absolutely uh, a conscious decision. The impact it has is it really turbocharges the business with real quality people. You know and as a people-led organisation our clients see and feel and understand that the quality people within the organisation can really make an impact on that uh, service delivery and it's an effect that's felt right the way through to frontline service delivery.